Guess what, peeps? Yep, that's right. My beard's growing a little bit. Finally starting to leave it alone some. Starting to get some length on. I know you guys were wondering about that. But it is Thursday right now, which means it's time for this little Rugrats practice. Banana. No, we're not playing the banana game. There's no punching available in the car, son. You ready for practice? Uh-huh. Where's your hat at? In my bag. Are you sure? Yes. How do you know? Mom told me. Nuh-uh. I told him. <laughs> so now we're gonna head to practice. Maybe I'll throw in a clip or two here, but man, wait, this has this has been two weeks of really not vlog-worthy footage, and uh, I'm kind of bummed about it because I want to bring you guys content. I want to be entertaining. I want to have fun. I want you guys to see the happiness that we have every day. But if it's just us, just like sitting around the house or just going to the store, like the grocery store, it's really not that fun. I mean, it's pointless to put on YouTube. I'm, I'm trying to get in the mode of breaking myself of the daily vlogger habit, you know, because I went over what 2,500 videos straight every single day, putting a video up. Um, it, it was the best thing that I've ever done, really. It's like one of my best creations, beside, uh, besides the boys, of course. Uh, making them is probably the best thing that I've ever done. Marrying Amy and being with Amy, that's probably another, it's right up to the top. But a little bit below that, maybe a step or two below, is, is what I've done with YouTube. Yeah, I don't have the, the bazillions of subscribers or billions of views or anything like that, but overall, I mean, I've made it work and it's just fit into our regular daily life, so it's just been a part of our life and it really hasn't, like, hasn't killed me or anything right i mean yeah it, it pulled it brought me down some and, I, and then i took a step back and now that i've i've washed myself of having to be a daily vlogger um i've made this more i don't know just about being part of my family you know and and when there's moments i'll capture them when there's baseball i'll always capture it um we do need to do a family game night soon we haven't done one of those we've only done one so far when i said we were going to start doing them right maybe play some blockus or something or some jenga that's a fun game to play uh hey look the walker He's right over there. He walks all the time. That's that's his name is The Walker. <laughs> um, I was talking to Amy today and I have just figured out something. Let me get to the stop sign and I'll tell you what I figured out. I have figured out that I'm gonna start doing some giveaways. Yep, you heard, you heard it here. And you know what I'm giving away? Can you guess what I'm giving away, dude? I'll give away some of my slime. That's, that's a good, good option. You know what? <laughs> I was talking to Amy, really? He's got like, 20 to 25 different slimes he's already made and they've been sitting there they haven't sold on his etsy uh, shop over at xanderslimes.etsy.com so what i'm gonna do is every time we reach a video or every time a video reaches mm, is it you want to do 2000 or 2500 views xander uh, which one 2000 or 2500 2000 so for the next like week or two we'll see how it goes uh, we'll, we'll play or play with it and see it maybe we'll adjust the number as we move but for right now we're going to say every 2,000 views that our videos get um we will do a giveaway as long as you leave a comment that's pertinent to the video itself not first that doesn't count or check out my channel can i get a shout out that doesn't count it has to be related the comment has to be related to the actual video you're watching and i know what's in those videos so i'll know if it's pertinent or not and then you'll get entered into a random draw, and you can only win one time of winning some uh, Zand some official Xander slime. So that's not a good deal, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I, I think that's awesome. And, and then if any of Xander's videos over at the Xander Joseph reach what a thousand views, Xander? Sure. Yeah. Okay, a thousand views on his channel, then he'll do a giveaway on his channel. Do the same kind of same thing. Um, but we'll. we'll We'll work on this as we move forward, but that's that's me ran, ran, randomly talking, just throwing something out there, and just trying to make it more of a fun community feel. You know, I want you to talk about the actual video itself, not just just saying first. I mean, that's that gets old because I, I try to comment back to people, but then I go through ruts of not commenting back to people because I don't want to comment back to firsts because that's not really a comment about the video. That's just somebody clicking quickly, getting on the video, and just saying a word just so they can say that they were first. <laughs> You guys in there still? All right, well, I just got home from work. I'm actually fixing to be leaving to head out to go pick up Jacob from school, which is what I do every single day. Amy's out of the house picking up Xander, and I stopped by the P.O. box because I left work a little early and I had the extra time. I knew I had a package there. Um, they sent me a notice, of course, and that's how I knew, but it's not like I just knew I had a package. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. 
I got the package, got home, and I realized what it was. It's a very awesome package, and I'm very thankful for getting this package. This package, right here, that box, right there, that package. I was approached uh, maybe three weeks ago or so through email by a contact at the Arizona Tea Company, you know, like Arizona Beverages and stuff like that, the big tall cans, awesome, yummy tea. I love their sweet tea, by the way. Um, and they mentioned that they'd, been, they'd seen some of our vlogs, they loved the, loved the ener energy of our family, they loved the happiness, they liked the, sh liked the channel a lot, and they just wanted to give a token of appreciation, and, and they didn't want any kind of plug or anything, they just wanted to give us some of their products for free, and I was like, really, for free? And they were like, yeah, we also have some beverages we'd like you to try, you don't have to do it on camera, you don't have to say anything about it on camera, we just thought your family was really nice, and we, we wanted to do something nice to your family, so I was like, okay, sure, and I, I told Amy about it. We picked out a couple items on their little merchandise uh, site and said, yeah, these items would be awesome, and we'd love to we'd love to do something for you guys down, down the line, whatever, I mean, moving forward, and that was it. We didn't hear anything about else. That was, that was all, all that was said, and there was this awesome package here that came in today, and we'll go through it with the family, but... I just thought that was really neat because they, they didn't ask for a plug. I'm doing this all on my own. They, I promise you, there's no advertising that, that's been, we haven't made any deals or anything with the Arizona company, Arizona beverage company. We just, they reached out to us and they were, they were nice. I mean, being nice pays off sometimes, right? We try to, we try to instill happiness and, and family values out there and Arizona saw that. So uh, I think this is pretty awesome. I'm kind of psyched. Uh, and, and I, like I've said, like m many times there's, we are not being paid to do this. They didn't uh, ask us to put it on camera. Um, I just, I think that being nice pays off and they're trying to be nice. So I want to show what they gave, what, what they put in this package because I haven't gone through it yet. I want the boys and Amy to be here too whenever we go through it. So hold on a second. So I have been really bad about showing you guys all of my orders before they go out the door. And that's why Eric has just had to put a picture in to show you guys what I've been up to because I have been extremely busy. But I've had cookies delivered earlier this week, which obviously I forgot to show you guys. So Eric wanted to show you a picture of that. Um, and then I did a cake yesterday, which I never took a picture of, but it was just like a simple cake. Like it was a round cake and it looked like a cat face. So I didn't really feel like I needed to take a picture of it. Um, and then I had these cookies, which I'm about to deliver. And then I have another simple cake, which is a Mickey Mouse cake. And if I remember to show you guys, I will. But I probably won't take a picture of it to post it. Just because, once again, it's just super simple and easy to do. But here are the cookies. Super cute baby shower cookies. I love the colors. All right, so like I said, I was going to wait till the whole family got here. Amy's holding the camera. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> See, there she is. And uh, she picked up Xander. I picked up Mr. Uh, Sleepyhead over here. And we're gonna check out what Arizona sent us. Check I'm this excited. out, guys. I already kind of know. Is this from Arizona? So they sent me this a zipper hoodie. That is this is cool. very thick. This is nice and warm. This is pretty cool. So they sent this. That's awesome. They sent a couple Arizona hats for the boys. As tech. back like Jacob likes. Mm -hmm. Do you look underneath? That's cool. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. Here's that for you. They sent Amy a pair of shoes. <laughs> They're pretty cute. I oh, love I those. those so cute. They are perfect for spring and summer. Oh. I love them. And you guys last, can't have them. Definitely not least, we got a family gift. Because you know, if you hang out with our family long enough, you know we love blankets around we here. We do. <laughs> Watching TV or going to the movies. Oh we got my goodness. A, video game. a nice blanket. That oh! is awesome. I wonder how soft it is. It's very soft, actually. <laughs> this is mine. Oh, I claim it. I claim it. Very I claim soft. it. <laughs> I guess you claim it. We'll share it. So, like I said, they didn't tell us to put this in the video. They didn't pay us anything. They just sent it to us just because they like watching our videos. And I thought, hey, this is nice of them, so I want to get, do a nice gesture and just show this cool stuff that they sent. It's very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Very much. We love it. But I noticed there's a baseball <laughs> cup in the background the whole time. Well, we're a baseball family, so uh, <laughs> we have cups laying around. <laughs> so weird. It's mine! Game time. 8 a.m. game starts. 45 minutes from home. Had to get up at 5.30. This guy is not awake yet. Game time. Cool. Jacob has two back-to-back -back games to start the day. Come on, Vikings. Yay! 
What's up, party people? It is Sunday, which is what is this? This is a tournament day, or this is the day you're supposed to win. This is Championship Sunday, basically for baseball, for tournament baseball, and. Uh, we're in between trying to get things situated here. We had to take Xander over to his team to do his warm-ups and stuff. And we were playing on all of us, me, Amy, and Jacob, going back over there with Xander. But then uh, Jacob's team went off and won a game. <laughs> so they won the first game. They were the 13th seed out of 14 teams. They were the 13th seed, and they played the 4th seed. And they beat the 4th seed. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. That's awesome. Jacob pitched again today. He pitched really well. Uh, you have to see that in the baseball vlog or the baseball tournament vlog for Jacob. There won't be a lot of footage though after a certain amount of time because we ran out of space on the other memory card. So we ran home uh, in, in between games. Jacob stayed with his coach, with his team. He's with his coach. He's going to go with them. Uh, we ran Jacob over, or Xander over to get to his practice or to his warm ups. I'm a little, I'm a little uh, energetic right now. I'm, I'm, we're all over the place. Uh, so he's over there warming up. We had to run back to our house so we could get two separate vehicles instead of just using one vehicle. I'm in my car now. Amy's in her car. We are, uh, we're trying to get back over to Xander's game. Amy will have to leave Xander's game in the middle of it to go to Jacob's other game like 45 minutes away. Yeah, so we are, uh, we're in baseball mode, guys. It's, it's been pretty fun so far on the day. Um, yesterday, Jacob's team went 0-2. This is a little update. It'll be in the baseball footage. But uh, Jacob's team went 0-2 yesterday, ended up being the 13th seed. Xander's team went 2-0, ended up being the number one seed out of 24 teams in the tournament. Uh, so we got no games yet as of today on Sunday for Xander, but Jacob won their first game. And like I said, they beat they beat the number four seed, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty awesome. Way to go, boys. And Jacob pitched again, and he pitched amazingly. He pitched four innings. He gave up three walks today, though. It was later in the game after he had set for a little while. But he gave up three walks. He hit a batter. Um, I don't remember how many strikeouts he has, but he went four innings and only threw four, uh, what was it, 52 pitches? 52 pitches in four innings. So, way to go, Jago. Very proud of you, son. And we got the W. Okay, guys. So, I need to update you guys on baseball. So, we've had a little, little difficulties with the camera today. First of all, we had three batteries with us, two of which were not charged, which we were not aware of. So we went through two batteries first thing this morning and then thankfully we found a third battery that has some juice left which is the one that I'm currently using. So I'm videoing Jacob's game. I, I missed his first at bat like he hit it in the outfield. It was a good hit. I'm in the process of trying to switch batteries when that happens and I missed it. <laughs> well then the camera like I'm videoing him pitching. And then the camera's not recording anymore, just stopped and won't let me hit record. I'm like, oh yeah, that's what happens when the memory card is full. So Eric forgot to dump the footage this morning, which he had intentions of doing. And it was just like a hectic morning, trying to get the boys ready and out the door on time. So we didn't get to catch the end of Jacob's game, which was like, the most exciting part of the game. It ended up tying seven to seven as the final score. And we've never had that happen in select baseball before. So we weren't sure what was gonna happen. Like if we continued, like time had expired. We didn't know if we continued to play or if it goes by like tiebreaker rules as far as who got the most outs and you know, stuff like that. Well, the umpire said that he called a meeting at the home plate and explained that it's like Texas tiebreaker laws or rules or whatever. And so we were up to back as we were visitor. He said to put three batter, like three base runners on base. The last three batters, I think, come up to bats. And there's one out automatically. And then you just see who scores the most out of that. Like each team gets a turn. So Jacob was the first up to bats and I was a nervous wreck. Didn't get to record it. He hits a grounder, uh, gets an out, but ties one run. Or not, not ties one run. He scores one run. And so then somebody else comes up to bat and smashes it to the outfield and we score another run. And then that's all we scored that inning. And then Eric and I ended up having to leave because we only brought one car today, which I kept telling Eric, we need to take two cars. And he's like, no, I think we'll be fine. We only brought one car thinking that Jacob's game would be over in plenty of time to pick up or to go uh, take Xander to his game. Jacob started at 8.45, Xander started at noon, but had to be there by 11. 
So we ended up leaving so that we can get Xander to his warm up, leaving Jacob there with friends, obviously, that could take him. And um, they come up to bat. Jacob's still pitching. And the next thing we know is that we get a text saying that we won. So it went by pretty quickly. We still don't know the details, um, but they only scored one run. So the final was nine to eight and we won. So now they go from playing at one park to playing at the park we were at yesterday, which is like 45 minutes away. So Eric and I rushed drop Xander off for warmups. He was only like five minutes late, no big deal. Then I take Eric home to get his car, dump the footage, Eric took off to go back to Xander's game. I'm gonna go watch like an hour of Xander's game and then head to Jacob's game, which starts at two. So it's a lot of running around, divide and conquer is what you gotta do when you have two kids playing sports, or more than two kids. Well, that didn't go as planned. Xander's team ended up losing. The number one seed got knocked out in the first round of championship Sunday. What do you think, dude? Thumbs down? What, are you telling them to thumbs down our video? Huh? What are you telling, what should they do? They should pick us up and give us some thumbs up, right? Yeah. Uh, and my channel. Oh yeah, and the Xander Joseph. So, they ended up losing. They they uh, they came back. Uh, wait, let's see. You'll see it all in Xander's baseball vlog, right? Or in his baseball video that we put up. But I'll go ahead and give you a heads up. They they got down early. They came back and tied it. They got down again. They came back. And then they came back. And then they lost. Because the other team just kind of outplayed them, I guess. And baseball, is a, it's a tough sport. You can be ranked number one and you can get beat. It's like yesterday when they played, they played these two big, or this one really big team yesterday. And they were all kind of nervous at first. And their coach was like, hey, the bigger they are, the what? The harder they fall, and they beat them. <laughs> they beat the team 10 to, 10 to 2. So, I mean, anybody can come out and play baseball. It, it just depends on how, how how prepared you are and how ready you are for each play. Well, they weren't quite ready for all the plays. <laughs> and, and we walked a few kids too many times. I've always told Jacob, growing up, that walks will kill you. You Walks will bite you in the buttocks, all right? And that's what happened with Xander's team. They, they walked him too many times there in the last few innings, and it caused them to lose the game. Because at that age, when you, if you get on base, you're getting around the base pads. There's not many kids that throw people out. Third. Yeah, you're getting to third. And then all that has to happen is just for some luck to happen or a kid to try to pick somebody off, and they miss the ball, and the ball's flying around, and they're scoring runs. That's what happens. But they, they rallied back in the very end of that game. They came close. They had, they had runners at second and third with two outs to tie the game. And they popped it up. And Xander, I'm proud of Xander for one because he does everything his, to his that his coaches tell him to do. His coaches ask him to do something that's very hard as a kid and as a parent to have to watch it happen to happen. And, uh, they were running low on time, and uh, he was asked to just strike out swinging. Like, don't even try to swing. Don't try to hit the ball. Just just swing the bat. And he did what the coaches asked him to do, and he kept the game. He extended the game. Basically, it was because the, the game was running out of time. And if he had gotten on base, there was a chance they wouldn't be able to keep batting because it was already two outs, and the top of our order was coming up. So was, he was like, Xander, I just need you to go up there to swing the bat. You ain't, you ain't got to hit the ball. Don't hit the ball. <laughs> and Xander did exactly what his coach did, told him to do. Uh, I'm proud of him for that, but it it didn't help his confidence much to play, you know? <laughs> was that a very stressful at bat, at least? <laughs> No. You know, I should have. I should just hit it and walked. And let him throw you out. Yeah. yeah just. To, but what happens if you hit a, hit a home run then? I guess you'd have just I walked around. I would have all the bases. <laughs> no, you take the home run, and then he'd ask the next guy in front of you to do the same thing that he just asked you to do. All right. So now, since that game's over with, we're gonna we're rushing over now to go watch Jacob's second game because they won their first game of the day. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out and see that if. That uh, trash mountain. Yes, that is Trash Mountain. Right back there. That, that place back there is called Trash Mountain. You see it on top of that gas station right up here? That's Trash Mountain. It's just a landfill. All right, let's go do this. Let's get over there. You ready? Uh-huh. You know what? You're going to cheer your brother on? Uh-huh. Jacob's had a good weekend, by the way. We'll, we'll update you guys on it, but he had a really good weekend. 